This is episode 75 of the Organizations Win Championships podcast and Odyssey podcast. Dan Bernstein, Jason Bernstein, our producer, James Jackson. I think we should start with uh, Jason had an interaction oh, yeah. with an NBA player just today, earlier yeah, today. A few hours ago, I was just I was playing golf. Uh, in the west suburbs and all of a sudden max christie shows up rolling meadows uh we went to rolling meadows high school current guard for the lakers five star out of high school and he went to michigan state really good defender he was he was the player where people said his jaw looks very similar to kobe oh, and yeah. then, that 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 was him so i i asked him two things first question was is kobe white hard to guard I didn't introduce myself formally. We just kind of crossed paths. Yeah. And I, I just said, quick question. Is Kobe White hard to guard? And he just said, very. And then I said, do you ever? And then the second question was, how much do you like Javante Green? He's like, <laughs> I really like him. I had to. I had to. Of course, to. Of course had to. you did. I had to. Of course you, you... <laughs> Do you like Javante Green? Well, I knew we were. Uh, I really like Javante Green. I knew we were recording today. How, how awesome is Javante Green? <laughs> Pretty damn awesome. I kn- I knew we were going to record today. Bit. I wasn't actually asking you. I I, I don't give a flying. <laughs> I, I know it's just funny. No, but I I okay. knew we were recording today, and I thought uh, it would be interesting, and I knew you would make fun of me for it, and good. I really don't care. But I right, Javante Green is uh, the ghost. So, so what do we know more about the Bulls at the moment? Nothing. Well, it's not true. We we know, well, we know what pick they got, but that's what they were expected. We know that uh, it's eleven. It's fine in this draft. I really don't see a huge difference between, between eleven and one. I really don't. I mean, Alex Saar is pretty good. And Fine. In last year's draft, he, I don't even know if he's a top 10 pick. This is this would have been the draft where the Bulls ended up with some lottery luck, but instead Atlanta it was gets the one luck. team Great. in front. Fine. Use Great. it on this year. Great. And, and, and I don't buy the logic. This will had the Bulls lost to the the – Hawks, then they would have gotten that no, pick. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't work. There's no transitive property for that working that way. The other things that we know is it's uh, appearing from reports that the Zach Levine era is going to end one way or another. It, it just it, yes, this is a, this is both sides are kind of realizing that it's untenable. We've known everything we've known for a while is kind of coming to a head, and now they we they've reached this perfect point of having deflated his value so significantly that now they're not going to get much for him and they're probably going to end up taking on at least one really bad contract to move his Mm -hmm. great nicely done way to go see you Bye. Bye. As long as they don't have to take on Javier Baez's contract, that's all that matters. Second worst. No, he's the the worst. No, he's not. No, he's not. Of the 166 qualified wins above replacement MLB players, guess who the worst player in baseball is? Tim Anderson again? No, it's Andrew Benatendi. <laughs> <laughs> Javier Baez is second worst, if that makes you feel any better. Benatendi he's, he's is second the worst. worst player in baseball. Yep, he's the worst qualified. Attaway, <laughs> Jerry. Yep. There we and, go. And, and, and the highest paid player, the highest, biggest free agent contract in White Sox history. So congratulations to that. The other thing we learned from the Bulls is that Lonzo Ball, on his podcast said he feels like he's 70 percent and he thinks he can play sure fine okay uh I, i'm i'm not gonna no. listen to I, i'll just wait f- till the bulls say something the bulls doctors well, well obviously he's gonna want to play and he should say that he'll be able to play because yeah. why that why wouldn't he say that he's not gonna say oh no i'm out no, I'm not. He, not. That's, yeah, they, not. They have to keep the motivation there. They have to keep the carrot yeah, there I'm, for I'm him. I'm sure he's working hard. And yep, we'll, we'll see what we'll see what the Bulls say. So obviously, we're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. And nothing have, that, have been prepared. Yes, for the I am worst for a long time. As have the Bulls, obviously. Yeah. And then the question is, do they try to get out of this year when it comes to the the salary cap relief, right like the middle of like yeah the levels, minimal amount of so. relief although based on the way they spent their free agent money last year that the guys didn't even end up being rotational players in the play or play in i almost said playoffs who knows where that's playoffs. Going to be? playoffs you don't even know where that's from don't care you say it all the time but you don't know where it's from uh you do you know do you seriously know the playoffs who is it your mom no who is it your mom, Janice Burns. It's my mom? Yes. It's no, Janice. it's not. What sport was it? Soccer. No. 
It was football. It was the Indianapolis head, the Indian Colts head coach. The Indianapolis head. Yeah, that's <laughs> the Indianapolis Colts head coach Jim Mora Senior. Still alive. Indianapolis by the way. head. Maybe yeah. I should go to Indianapolis. Stop have a it. Great time. Please stop. No. Yeah, as long as you don't run into that guy that we ran into at the Indianapolis Indians game. Oh, our Uber driver? No, the guy in the gift shop. When oh. I was, I was like, oh yeah, you want the alternate logo? And I said, I'm sure that's going to be their logo when they finally change their name. And this guy like jumps out and he's like, we shall change our name when they change the name of the state of Indiana. And I was like, weird flex. But, yeah, they. they but, but okay, no, that's not weird flex. You don't know what weird flex, but okay, means and it hasn't been used since 2015, so never <laughs> say it again. But, <laughs> but, I mean, it their logo, weird. their logo isn't. As bad as the Cleveland Indian or yeah, what it was. was. No, no, it's not. It's, it's, it was, it's just. It's I, I think. It, I think it's just the. What even is it? Is it a some kind of? I don't know. It's not. It doesn't have any feathers. Is it a mask? So some no, kind? no movement on the Demar front. So until that, I think I, I saw someone. I forgot who it was, but someone said that the league expects him to resign. I don't know if it's going to be for two years and eighty million dollars, but if I were him, I'd be asking for it. I yeah. Well, that's the thing. It, Why the, wouldn't you ask for it? There, there's a, there's bigger picture stuff that we're going to get to when we get to our mailbag, and we should mention thank you for submitting the questions that you did via Twitter primarily for our mailbag. Yeah, not Instagram because your Instagram sucks. I do my best, man. I don't really know how to use Instagram, and now okay. I just scroll it and I look at don't people in Australia catching giant fish. But you don't even. The, every single time you post something, it's the same picture, and it's just the logo for the podcast. Well, then you then you do it, and I'll just retweet yours no, or whatever they call nobody, it. I have a private account. Nobody like nobody really cares that much. That's on my account. Why is your account private? Why Why would I want randos following me all the time? Yeah, I guess it's really kind of doesn't people, matter. But they're me. weird. Uh, the playoffs have been going on, and we've been enjoying certainly these late games. Have just been the the Western Conference is really just so been fun, bananas. And I am so sad about the Timberwolves. I just I don't feel good about it anymore. Nor should you. They just seem beat. They got punked, and your guy Ant Man did not have his toughest performance. He also is when they blitz him, he's got to be ready. He's got to anticipate. He's, he's got. He's young. I think, I I think they will be just fine, and if, I wouldn't. Realistically, that like he, it's he, it's a super young team, and he's twenty two years old. He is going to be fine. You know who else is young though? Pretty much all good teams starters. Yeah, not Yoke, not the Nuggets though. But most starters. This was really interesting. Aaron I think Gordon's old as hell now. I, yeah, but in general, it's pretty rare to have more than one thirty-year-old starter. I think the Bulls had four at one point, which is not where you want to be. What is that? Thirty-year-olds. Vooch, Dr- Vooch, DeRozan, Tory Craig. I don't. They have. They just have too many old guys. And this is a young man's league. We're learning it in the playoffs. When you're see, I'm glad you said you know young, young, young. And the Bulls have been going in the wrong yeah, direction. Yeah, but a lot of the young, young, young teams don't take a long time to win. This is this is why the Suns lost though, is because they're too old and because they have no depth. Their GM sucks. I don't know who he is, but you suck at your job. I'm coming for you. Um, I don't know what that was. I just think he's terrible. You need depth to win titles, and you can't do it with three great players. I mean, you saw in that series against Minneapolis, Minnesota. I would love to see Anthony Edwards just destroy everybody, but it's tough. It's tough right now. You see these elastic athletic above the rim teams and then we think about what bulls basketball looks like and too often it just doesn't look like what we're watching i I would also like to say i find it so difficult to see a finals without denver being in it it's i i don't think okc or dallas could beat them in a seven game series the only way they get knocked out is if minnesota completes a comeback Here's a question. And for I think you. that's the most likely out of all three of those. Here's a question. Mm-hmm. Why don't I like the Celtics? They're just boring. There's no re you don't hate them. Right. It's just that you don't like them. Right. They're just boring. But they don't play boring. 
I don't know. It's just they're not as they're just not as fun as these other teams. And Tatum Tatum's really good, but he's not as captivating as Jokic. He's not as captivating as Edwards. He's not as captivating as SGA or Luca or even Kyrie. I would say at this yeah, point, good word. So yeah, it, it they're just not as they're they're entertaining, but they're not as exciting. They're and not. Di- they're not fun. They're great, and they don't play a boring brand of basketball. But they're they, they don't ha- they're so good that they don't have crazy highlight plays. And Drew Holiday is great. Derek White is great. Kristaps is is Kristaps healthy? I think he is. Right. I, if he's if we haven't heard that he's hurt, then he's probably healthy. It's just I I. He's out oh, now. Whoa, 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 He's out at the moment. Whoa. Yes, you, you're not looking at that. I didn't see that. Well, we're when people are listening to this on Friday morning, they'll know the result. But you're just looking at the the T Wolves having an early lead on Denver. Yeah, it's just that it's an early lead. Fifty seven thirty six. Yes, it's it's the end of the second quarter. That's halftime. Yeah, that's they they, they right. play two halves for a reason. I'm just saying you can get excited as you want. So I know now. Now you're distracted. Stop being distracted. Because now you're gonna be. You're not. Should I get my Edward shirt? You do not need your Edward shirt. You do need to shave, however. Oh, you. Can. Although it doesn't look terrible. You see, I need to shave. Okay. Yeah, but I don't care. Quit touching me. So I asked for questions in the mailbag, and there were some questions. Don't said don't bag. Don't look ahead. Don't, <laughs> no, just click here. Don't just get it on your phone. Don't. What do you mean? Go on Twitter on your phone. So then you won't look at it? Correct. And then you click back on the stream yard. Oh. <clears throat> well, I didn't think ahead that far. So, but then I have to, I got to like scroll back and I got to find everything. Why do you make this so difficult? Just go to your tweet. I, I am. But we'll go to mine. What do you mean? Didn't you send out a tweet asking about a mailbag? Yes. So I go to me and then profile. Yeah. And, and then, then, then scroll, posts. And then scroll. Okay, well, I thank... And then you can click replies or something. I'm going to, and I thank everybody who has responded. But you're you're going to make me stop it. Stop it. I I held out my hand. When did you put this out? Yesterday. So that says two days ago. Okay, so how do you do this? You start here. This is ridiculous. You're you're teaching me to use my phone. There, doing a mail. Got it. Yeah. Yes, I am teaching you how to use your phone because you're a dumbass and you don't need and you right. don't know how to Mike use Mike asks, is this a rebuild? Depends if they get rid of Levine and DeRozan and Vooch. As of right now, the No. No. It's not. It's clearly not. And I, I don't even know what they're doing. I they would need to get rid of all three of the older uh, the old quote unquote core in order to call it a rebuild. And you don't even have anybody to build around right now. Maybe Kobe White, but not really build around. But that's he's more. He's so a guy a you build, don't get rid of. He's more of a build with guy. Yes. So, I don't know. but no, I think it's an easy answer that until we get some indication that it's a rebuild, until they clear house, clean house, clean house. If you get your idioms correct. Here's a question for you. Okay. Do you think the Bulls consciously choose to issue size? Or are they to what size? To, to E S C H E W. What does that mean? To avoid? Yeah, ignore or avoid. Yes. Do they consciously choose to avoid that? Or this they... is definitely one of your friends that put this out because that word so. is too Dan Bernstein. Or, or are they so focused on compiling other skills they just never get around to acquiring size? These four guard lineups offend my basketball sensibilities. Well, I. Stop picking things. What are you doing? I'll pick. Seriously, what are you doing? I have dirt in my nails. Well, don't do it now. You're on camera. Hey. Seriously. Uh, Ow, you strip, you hurt my finger. Jerk ass. Jerk ass? Well, what, okay, well, answer the question. So do I think the bulls avoid size on purpose? Or do or are they just too busy with other stuff? I don't, well, the neither. thing is, I it, that's I think it's neither because one. On one hand, I, I I don't I don't think they're ignoring the fact that they need size. They have Drummond, who's big. They have Vooch, who's big. They're not going to have Drummond sh- next year. But what I'm saying is, they haven't ignored size. What they haven't addressed is athleticism. They're too. De- I like if you're looking if you're asking for big men that are more above the rim. 
Have they been been ignoring it? No, they haven't been ignoring size. However, do I think they've been too busy filling up other stuff? No, I just think they're in a bad contract situation and they can't. So they can't address anything full head of steam because they kind of screwed themselves with that Levine contract and that Vooch contract. And with Lonzo Ball not being healthy, it makes it really difficult when he's still making 20 plus a million a year. So I just think they've screwed themselves and they suck. There's a theme to these questions that's going to emerge here. How long does basketball hell last? I have no, it, we'll see after this off season. We'll see once the draft happens and free agency occurs, we will, we can come back to those types of questions. Uh, a question from Bucky. What is the point of the 24, 25 Chicago bulls? Everybody's, that's a great question. Everybody sounds like you. <laughs> Let's find out. I appreciate out. you guys. I really appreciate you guys. We'll see what happens this off season. Get rid of Levine. See if Kobe White can take another step forward. And if Patrick comes back, see what happens. I don't know, to be quite honest with you. I don't know what the point is. Is it winning a championship? No. That's what I'll say. What would he, both of your reactions be? This is from I don't know, these names, these Twitter names. Not an actual bartender is the Twitter name. What would be both of your initial reactions to the Bulls using the 11th pick on Zach Eady? It'd be... I, I don't think they will. But what would your reaction be if they did? If you asked me that a month ago, I said I, I would say I'd be pissed. If you ask me that now... What? I he's a shot blocker. I know he can't jump. He can't move. But he can block shots. He blocks shots in college. One second unit. He's not going to start. Oh wow! So hold on a second. I w wait okay, a second I, here. I, I, I think, you are shocking me. The eleventh. I would, pick, I would not I, trading okay, down. Okay, okay. I the eleventh. Stop pick. screaming. I would be a little bit upset because. Even though this draft is arse, I do think there would probably be more talent on the board. However, it is addressing a need of some sort. With someone who might not be able to play. Seven. He's enormous. Four. He's in. I know that. He's. But see. Huge and long. And he has good touch around the rim. I, he, he's a seven four version of Adama Sanogo, if you think about it. And if it it's really hard although sonogo moves better yeah it's really hard to compare a guy who's seven four three hundred. I, 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 I do i do think that it would in some way address a need but would i be happy no i wouldn't be happy let me but i but question. i would understand a little bit let me answer the question if they use the number 11 pick on zach Eady, you should fire everybody because that's malpractice. That is not his value. If you trade down and acquire other picks or acquire a player and you want to use that near the end of the first round or somewhere in the second round, fine. You do it at 11. Somebody somebody had him at 15. Like, I don't think. And somebody Look, had Klingon in the top three. I've seen Klingon in the top five. I've but seen him in the that, top one. What? Kendrick Perkins. Said he'd take. The, as the number one overall pick? Perkins said he would take Klingon number one overall. Okay. If now, if I would ask Perk this, if you think the draft is well, so he's an old school, big if man. you think the draft is so bad that you would take a second unit, a quality second unit center with the first overall pick, then you have to tell me that because that's what Klingon is. I think Klingon is, I, is I think a, he's a, he's he's a, a backup. He's a, he's a poor man's Brook Lopez. Can't shoot as well. It's not Brooke Lopez. No, I'm saying because yeah. he can't shoot as well, but that yeah. that sort of shot blocker and the way he moves is very similar. And he plays really hard. The thing is that, enormous. Yeah. But 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 if you look at Brooke Lopez and his skill set, he didn't start shooting threes until late in his career. So That's maybe correct. maybe because of the change of the era, the way basketball has changed in the NBA, if Klingon has to the Klingon will have to develop a three point shot, and so maybe if he turns into Brooke Lopez, that would be a huge win. Is he Robin Lopez? I think he's a little better, Ron Lopez. You think so? He's seven two. 
Yeah, but I mean, Robert Lopez has been a decent NBA career. Nah, he's not the shot blocker that that Klingon is. He's not the okay. defender. All right. I will say Klingon from last year to this year, I thought he would be terrible. I thought he'd be a terrible NBA player, and I don't think he'll be a terrible NBA player anymore. He is definitely an NBA player. I don't like him as much as I like Castle. Well, they're from that team. On. They're so different. You I can't know. compare them. I, I, and you, I agree. If you, with if you, that. If we're, but if you're saying if we're rating process, if I had to 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 buy yes, stock, I, I think Castle is. But he's a freshman. If I had to buy stock, I'm buying stock in Castle before I'm buying stock in Klingon. Because I, like I say, have fun storming the castle. Have fun. Hey, it'll take a miracle. Okay, that's enough. Hey, you started the. Dude. No, I'm saying that's enough with that. With you answering that question, we get it because it was about Edie in the 11th pick. Then we went on a tangent about Klingon. Tangents are okay. It's a mailbag. That's the point. Usually what about cosines. Oh, and trigonometry jokes. Yeah, he's, I can't do it he's, anyway. He's here all night, folks. And now I screwed up. I, I think I remember the last one because okay. I screwed up my phone. And it was after the Tom Brady roast. Who should be the next athlete to be roasted and who should be invited? Did you watch the Tom Brady roast? I've, I've seen clips of it. It's brutal. How lame is it that he's mad? It's pretty funny. My family is all mad now because people made jokes. It's a roast. Yeah. The, the, it's the, Jeff the, Ross. Sh- stop screaming. The Sidemen is on YouTube. It's it, a group of seven guys from the UK. They've done, they've had the roast of the sidemen, and it's just ridiculous. I, have you been, I've been roasted. I have not been roasted, but I would say that's something we could do. We could ask the people to roast us, but uh, <laughs> then you're going to have to make your Instagram account public. No, you just do it on Twitter. Roast both of us. And so when, oh God, who is the next athlete to be roasted. i know who it is it'll never happen because it's not realistic it's got to be lebron if you really wanted you to can't roast lebron yeah you can't like people who know him could yeah but he, the, the, he's a great guy i, I don't know I, yeah they I, can't I there's, there's no like there's scandal there's no infidelity like they people would make fun of the decision Right, and that's after that. What yeah, do you... there there was some scandal with Brady and he cheated on his wife, like all this stuff. Tiger Woods. Oh, Tiger Woods. There you Ooh. go. <laughs> Never, ever, ever would he do it. Tiger Woods. Yeah, and you have to invite like Phil. Oh yeah, David Duvall. Just a bunch of guys. I would say Tiger Woods, and I have the utmost respect for Tiger Woods. I think he's. In the best golfer of all time, but he did make some poor choices, oh. some very poor choices. Um, How did he do in early in his career? I didn't check. I have I not just... seen. I know Shoffley and Rory did really well. Yeah. I saw Thigolo was good. I like so, him. He's, he should he's win fun. soon. He's, he's been close. He is. I agree. He is fun. So that that's all for our like Shoffley was nine under or something. We thank everybody who uh, was uh, par- participant in the mailbag. Thank you so much for your questions. Look forward to doing it again at some point. And uh, we are going to dig into the draft a lot more in, as we get closer to the draft and then we get more information that's emerging about who's going where. And we find out a little bit more about perhaps how the Bulls roster is going to shape up. So I'm looking forward to that. But this mm-hmm. brings us now to the showdown where we will present each other with trivia questions and or... That's correct. There Don't give me that look. Yes. It was right. That was right. Um, so did you find a trivia question? Yeah, I did. Is it good? It's fine. Yeah. Okay. You you want to start? Are you tired? You, you seem want... tired. I am tired. Do you want to start? No, you start. All right. Who are the top 10 NBA regular the NBA players this season, regular season, and plus minus? This season? This regular season. season in total plus minus? Mm-hmm. Total plus minus. Okay, I this is a weird stat. So is it is it stars? Some Jokic, number one. Okay, at eight six plus eight sixty six on the season. Halliburton, no. Is Caruso up there? No. Is there a bull? No. Nowhere near anything. No. Nope. Luca. Luca Doncic is not there. 
Wow. I'm just trying to think if there's anybody counterintuitive or it's any it's just, no, sometimes you get there. Like, let me see. Like the I, guys I who say, only dunk and block shots. I would say on this list, one, two, three, four, five are at least all stars. Brunson? So probably six. Probably six. Brunson is fifth. Yeah. How about there and then there's there are two role players and one pretty good. They're all good, but how about LeBron? No. How about Jason Tatum? Number two. Okay. So is... you got Jokic, Tatum, Brunson. Jokic, Tatum, Brunson is... I. It's a stat. Think about it this way. It's also about which teams win a lot of games. By a lot of points. Right. So you have teams that have like a lot of blowouts. Is SGA on there? Number three. Okay. So we got one, two, three, and five. Jamal Murray. Nope. Good guess. Aaron Gordon. Nope. I'm trying to think of somebody in there who's got to mm-hmm. just be on the floor a lot. Mm-hmm. Is it like two players from that on that team in that sort of thing? In that sort of route. Who's the other shooter guy? Uh, Come on. Porter. Yep. Porter is seventh. And the other guy is sixth from the Denver Nuggets. That I'm that I'm talking about. That is, he's fine. He's good. Christian Brown? No, he's been in the league for a while, for a good amount of time. Hmm. KCP. Oh, KCP. Contavious Caldwell Pope. So you're missing four, eight, nine, ten. I'm trying to think on these. It's got to be uh, Jalen Brown. Nope. You got the two of them are from that team. Derek White. Yes, number four. That doesn't surprise me. He's an unbelievable player. Yeah, he's a great player. And then you get, you need eight, nine, and ten. The other Celtic is at ten. And it's really awesome. Is it Peyton Pritchard? No, but... Like, it's not I, Luke Cornett. No, it's not Luke Cornett, but you're on the right track. And is it a, a White? Yes, it's a White. Is it Porzingis? No, it's a White. Like... True. Oh, I know who it is. It's Hauser. It's Sam Hauser. Sam Hauser. I mean, he can get your the hell ass out of to Mars Hauser. And then the, these two guys are really good NBA players. Okay. Anthony Edwards and Damian okay. Lillard. Very, yes, they're both very good NBA players. Good question. There you go. Okay. Very good question. Now, for you, mm-hmm. these in the history of NBA All Star status, mm. these are the colleges that have produced the most ever NBA All-Stars. How now, many? It's, I like how many colleges. Well, I've got 21 on the list. Okay, so... But wait, but there now there are... This isn't All-Star appearances. It's the number of players, players that have who have all-star. made at least one. one so if you've made... If LeBron's made 20, he only counts as... He would he would count as one. Well, he wouldn't count for any I just didn't go to college, right. Okay, I can already tell you this. Kentucky is going to be first. Cor- but not by as much as you think. Kentucky's first with 19. Okay. Duke. Duke is fourth. UNC. Third. Kansas. Fifth. Uh, Very good. Nova? No. St. John's. St. John's is fifth, is tied for between 10th and 16th. Okay. Good guess, St. John's. That was that. That's, I didn't Marquette? Think Marquette is 19, tied four, but 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 all have five. Marquette is one of them. UConn. UConn is also has six, so they're in between that 10 and 15. Let's let's go with UNLV. No. Okay. I just, guess. I just knew in the 80s. Yep. Uh, yeah, if you're thinking eight, there is another. There, there's DePaul? No. Also, not a bad guess. Okay. Illinois. Illinois has six, so they're also in that that mid group. Yes. Indiana. There Indiana has seven. Indiana is part of a group of seven, eight, and nine. Is that the seven. big one you were saying? Like no. The 80s no, you don't have number two. I said UNC, Duke. You, you I, said, I said Kentucky, UNC, Duke, Kansas. No, you're you're missing a team that for a long time would arguably a Mount Rushmore. I just don't. Just stop. Okay. Oh, UCLA. UCLA there is second go. with 18. So that's that's another blue blood. So you've yeah. got the those are the 19, 18, 13, and 12 are in the top four with the number of all stars. Now the two teams with eight are Kansas. Don't, yeah. Okay. Don't don't 
I, how many more teams do I need? Count the number. I don't know. One, I don't... two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Texas. No. Washington? No. Oregon? No. Stanford? No. USC? USC is, has six. Same as UConn, Illinois. Yep. Okay. So I've crossed the halfway mark. Florida? No. Florida State? No. Tennessee? No. Louisville? There we go. Louisville has six. Yeah. yeah, Louisville has six. Michigan State? Michigan State has eight. Yeah. They're tied with Cambridge. They're, they're tied there with Kansas. Wisconsin? No. And is Michigan isn't on there, is it? Michigan? Michigan. Wow. Michigan. Okay. No, excuse me. MSU has seven. Michigan has eight. Michigan has produced right. a lot of stars. Yeah, that's that's true. It's not going to be Oklahoma. There's, a, there's another Big Ten team. Stop. It's not going to be Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Stop. Stop. Ohio State? Yes, Ohio State wow. has seven. Wow. Yep. So now you need there's, there's, yeah. there's one and Jerry Lucas, one, two more with six. LSU. And four with five. LSU has five. So there's two more with six and there's three more with five. Oof. You are not a fan of this school. Not a fan. You were a fan. Oh. No, you're not a fan. Fake warists. Yes, that uh, they also had five. Yeah, now I'm at a better school, so they um, can they can do that. Now I'm at Tulane, so they can they can go screw themselves. Now the one thing Tulane we, is not on there. I can tell you that right now. The one team I thought you would have guessed you did when you start thinking about like meat era Stop. 80s. Think 80s. 1980s powerhouse. Stop. Just stop. Because that doesn't help me at all. Okay, then don't. To... All right. So we're not gonna we're not gonna no Memphis. No. Ooh. No. I'll give you back. You're you're missing. Let's see. Yeah, give it to me. Big East. Conference. Big East. Uh I think this team is in they were I, I would never remember what conference they're in. I don't know if they're in the Big East or the ACC now. There is a what used to be a Maryland? Pac... No, what used to be a Pac 12 school. Two that used to be Pac 12. I don't know what they are now. Okay. And but this one, Big East, like a Big East stalwart all time classic. I said Yukon. I yeah. said St. John. Yes. Yes. And what's 80s? Don't rub your eyes. Seton Hall? No. Come on. It's not going to be Providence. Tough, mean. Stop. Just shut up. Syracuse. No. That's ACC. Just stop talking. All right. Well, I'm going to just tell you. No, you're not. No, you are. Get the two Pacific schools. Cal Berkeley. Yeah, Cal has six. Sharif Abdur Rahim. Jalen Brown. Jason Kidd. Um, Arizona. No. No. Wow. No. I thought that was a lot. No. Arizona State? No. This shocked me. Utah? Oregon State. Don't tell me. All right, no, we're, no, we're running out of time. And I'll give you the other Gary one. Payton, n- n- mm. Number and also twenty is Notre Dame. It has okay. five. This you got to get this this Big East team. Come on, great academic school. It's oh what Allen Iverson to yes Mitz yes Lombo, yes Patrick Lonzo Ewing Warning, Georgetown yeah yes that would be Georgetown nicely done. So well, good. I and mean, especially getting those first five as quickly as you did. Very well done. So as I mentioned, we're going to be really trying to drill down on some draft stuff as we get closer to that. But thank you for listening to organizations win championships. Like it, rate it, review it, love it, pledge fealty to it. And make fun of Dan Bernstein all the time. So he shuts the hell up. Good luck. 